morning. There are so many heartfelt people around the world who care, who want to make a difference. And spirituality has a part in that dialogue, and Christian science in particular has a unique voice. Something that is a science proves to us, assures us, guarantees us that it's for everybody. It is universal, it is consistent, it is repeatable. Something that is a science doesn't exist 2,000 years ago and not today. It is either a fact or it is not a fact. If the love that this guy, Christ Jesus, lived is real, then it is true about each one of us, and there is nothing we can do to change it. Christ, then, is more than just a title of a guy, a name of a man. Christ is a power. Christ is that divineliness, that divine truth, that divine love that was so clearly expressed and known and felt and proved by this guy, Jesus. Prayer can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, and it rightly should, because prayer, at least in part to me, is about the infinite, about tuning in, connecting with, with God. I don't know any other organization on the planet that could be called and immediately come to the aid of somebody on the other side of the world. We are finding the most graphic demonstrations to date of the power of the mind to affect the body. So if this is about a love so deep that it sees that, that it works to understand that and to prove that, then people are needed. People are needed not to just say, I love the idea of it, but to work at it, to understand it, and to, and to strive to prove it themselves. He told his disciples constantly, go out and preach the gospel and prove it. That is, go out and tell people the good news and prove it. Don't just tell them it, prove it. Whatever holds human thought in line with unselfed love receives directly the divine but is that what prayer is meant to be? Coming back to what we talked about before, is it just a coping mechanism? Is it just a way of feeling better about stuff? Or does it have a real effect? Is there a cause and effect relationship between the way we think and what goes on around us? That when we are handling the issues, the question behind the question, those elements in thought, in our prayer, the same way we would handle them for ourselves, for the people we love, for the people we're called upon to pray for, and in our local organizations, doesn't that let us know with scientific certainty that this is where the source is, these are the ideas, this is the truth that resolves these issues, and that whether there's extra zeros behind it or not is not relevant to the equation. Broadview is an organization. We've come here today to support, to value, to recognize, and to hear about the good works going on through this organization and what it does for our community. And the kind of stuff that happens at an organization, organization like Broadview is possible because of the people that are here working every day in all their different you know, aspects and walks of what their work is, as well as from the broader community that makes it happen. Bringing spirituality to the global dialogue, recognizing the kingdom of heaven at hand, and doing something about it, proving it. There is so much good at hand, right here and now, as a part of the kingdom of heaven. The science of Christ shows us the way to understand it, to feel it, to prove it, to make a difference in the world. But it's also in that process essential that we see that this is for everybody. 
that it is about, again, the kingdom of heaven. That there's no division, and there can't be, or our sense of God is too small. So we're here together today to recognize that bigness, to make that commitment, to support each other in the constant commitment that it takes, in the universality of what this is about, and to work together.